Hey everybody, welcome to Low Country Stories and Guests. This is Christopher Drake, and with me is Lynn J. Phillips, executive producer of a new film coming up called Tales from the Dead Zone. How's it going, Lynn? I'm doing great, Chris. Uh, uh, we are having Thanksgiving up here in Canada, and the weather looks beautiful out today. And yeah, it's just one of those wonderful uh, autumn days right up here in northern Alberta. You bet. Oh, I tell you, I used to live up in Canada, so I, I have no excuse for not realizing it was Thanksgiving. I mean... I lived yeah, in you guys have, about a year. Yeah, you guys have yours. Uh, U.S. has theirs in what, November, I believe, right? November. But the yeah. thing is, Canada, it's so cold, you best get all your holidays out of the way kind of quick if you want anybody <laughs> to show up, you know? That's right. We've got to get our winter tires on soon. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, oh, it's yeah. really great hearing from you here. Um, you bet. The, uh, the thing we're all wanting to talk about today, what we're all excited about, is Tales from the Dead Zone coming up. You bet. Bret Hart and Corey Feldman. I mean, Absolutely. wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You had, the, you had the 1980s jackpot on that, my friend. Oh, Which yeah. Is, it's gonna. It's been one hell of a ride, and we just can't wait to get the uh, wraparound done. That's the, uh, that's the conclusion of the movie, uh, Tales from the Dead Zone, written by, of course, Barry J. Gillis, uh, writer, director, uh, you know, uh, just uh, producer, and just, uh, you know, it's just, we just can't wait to get this wraparound done, uh, Chris. And then, of course, the movie. Weeks, right? That's going to be about a few weeks. You bet. You betcha. Oh, wow. Yes. But then uh, post-production, how long should that take? Well, we'll see how things go. You know, it's, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get her soon. And, uh, you know, it just uh, post-production sometimes can get a little uh, interesting, but it'll get done. Absolutely. Oh, wow. yeah. I know it's, you know, I don't know much about filmmaking, but I know you can shoot for like 10 hours worth of footage and then break it down to like 30 minutes. So oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's it, it, absolutely it's magic when you're in that when you're doing the editing it's magic absolutely when you're putting it all together. Oh yes. Well, I know with, with all those with all the characters you've got not not just Hart and Feldman but everybody you've got on board you've got to have some funny stories. Oh right. yeah, oh yeah. It's you know when we started this you know it was uh, <laughs> you know it was you know I I remember we we uh, you know. Barry J. Gillis and myself, you know, we 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 were, uh, you know, we, when we started this uh, this whole uh, this whole uh, idea, and it was just one thing after another, and then it just it just got bigger and bigger as we went, Chris, and and now we're and now we're almost at the end. It's just uh, it's just amazing to be watching the progress that we've done so far, and we're so close now, getting to the end. It's just. Oh man, it's just uh, it's going to be a wonderful day when we get her done. That's well, for sure. I can, I can definitely I can definitely hear in your words. It's like having a child watching it grow, and then boom, here you go. That's you know, right, full adult. That's right, and then the world will be watching. You know, once we get her out, it's just going to be uh, you know, I just can't wait to get that done. You know, and 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 the world can watch watch our movie. You, know? you guys have such courage to go in and just dive into a project. And just put your art out there for just the world, you know. I mean, for everybody to judge, say good, bad, wonderful, classic, whatever, you know. Like I said, that just takes an immense amount of courage, in my opinion. So, well, thank what you. gave you guys the idea? Well, you know, it's just, uh, you know, Barry J. Gillis and myself, you know, we just come up with these different ideas. And, you know, uh, Barry, of course, this will be his fifth feature film. Uh, you know, and, and, and as he makes movies, they're getting, you know, uh, bigger and better each time, you know, as a filmmaker, you know, and uh, as for myself, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm getting more into the seat of, uh, behind the scenes. Cause my passion is the acting, Chris. And, right. uh, it's just, I tell you, you're always learning and learning and, uh, it's just, it's fascinating. It's a fascinating industry and, uh, it's, you just never know what's coming around the corner. It's just, it's just, amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Well, you know. I remember I didn't know what Bret Hart could do in the act, and I mean, I, I well, I guess I guess so because, you know, he was such a, a prolific wrestler. Yeah. You know, back in the day, and he, you see, I like the heels better myself. When okay. I was a kid, I like the heels because the heels had more character depth. The good guys were just infallible good guys, you know. Sure. Sure. And the, the heels had like multiple layers. Sure. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, he was one of those one of those guys, you know. Oh so yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing him, of course. And everybody loves Corey Feldman. I mean, oh, well, I'm gonna say everybody because, I mean, he's he's made a lot of people mad, but he's done it in a righteous way, you know. You bet. I mean, he's a brave man, and I really, speaking for a lot of people, we're really really proud of him for standing up to Hollywood and, you know, 
going and doing the right thing, really. I mean, it took a lot of courage, no, no doubt. Mm -hmm. But what, how would you compare your film to, say, like, is it sort of like Tales from the Crypt? No, ours is different. Ours is going to be uh, – ours is going to be uh, – Let's just put it this way, Chris. This, this is going to be a this is going to be an anthology feature. Remember, this is a horror film, so this right. is going to be you know with the horror fans, and uh, you know it's you, you know you know other fans you know moviegoers you know it's going to be you know it's going to be exciting and it's going to be something else to see. It's it, I'm going to put it this way: it's going to be a unique film, no question yeah. about it, no question about that. Well, the previews I've seen definitely already sets it aside. The trailers I've watched, I said, okay, all right, this this is something, this is something new, this is something that you got on on Blu-ray, this ain't something you're gonna trust to <laughs> to Netflix, this is something that you know that goes on the shelf to say, okay, you know, you go into someone's house and you look at their video collection, yeah, and not all the time, but sometimes you can kind of like you can see the person in the movies they like, you know, sure. I said, all right, yep, this will probably one of those movies. <laughs> so, well, at least to describe me, I'm I'm a big '80s fan, and then that that the way I the way I see it, the feel I get for it already just like I said, it's very exciting to say the least. I got you. But well, how do you well, what do you feel like some of the film's strong points are? Oh, because this ain't your first rodeo. No, no, but this is my first horror film, and gotcha. uh, you know, this is I'm playing you know I'm playing four different roles in this movie. And uh, it just is, you know, it's it's just going <laughs> to, you know, I'm playing one character the next, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm playing uh, Carl, I'm playing uh, my character LJ, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, be, it's just one hell of a ride. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely going to show the, uh, you know, the, uh, the film goers, uh, the different characters and uh, just the range of different um, acting, um, you know, I can't, I can't wait to, for the uh, you know for the world to see this, uh, it's just it's going to just be one of those. Uh, I, I just you know I sit back sometimes, Chris, and I say to myself, "Wow, I can't believe we're gone this far, and we're almost there now." And uh, you know, it's just I, I keep saying it's one hell of a ride, and uh, I can't <laughs> wait for it to get done, and I can't wait for the world to see this. Absolutely. Well, tell me about your, the characters you play. Well, I'm playing LJ. That's uh, one of my main characters. I'm playing. I'm playing uh, Bill. Uh, that's, uh, I'm playing Donnie and I'm playing, uh, I got another one, but that's going to be a surprise for the movie. So gotcha. yeah, you bet. So like, as far as those characters go, I mean, is it, is it, is it a real stretch for you or is it, or is it kind of like just going to like a glove that fits? Well, I'll tell you some of these characters I've been playing, it's, uh, you know, and of course with, you know, with Barry J. Gillis, you know, doing the screenplay, uh, the writing, uh, it's just, you know, he just, yeah, he fits it in, like fits it in the glove perfectly. Um, you know, the characters just, it just flows. Um, it's just, it's exciting of course, but it just, it's, everything just fits together. It's just, it's just one of those movies where the characters just, it's almost, I'm not going to say it's meant to be, but it's just, it's just, uh, how can I put it? It's just one of those movies where those type of characters are just going to bring that movie to life. You know, it's just, the whole storyline is just absolutely amazing. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. What I've seen so far, it's got some really intense scenes, and I'm hearing it's like probably the most violent film to ever come out of Canada. Well, you know what? You never know. That could happen. You just never know what, what can happen with this, Chris. Uh, who knows? Maybe down the road, you know. Who knows? Maybe it'll become a cult classic. We just don't know what's going to happen. You know, that's all uh, up to moviegoers. You don't know. Think, we don't know. Just as soon as you get it out, I think it's it's got to be a cult classic. I mean, look, how I mean, it's the first film Corey Feldman's made in a while that I'm that I'm aware of. Sure. Yeah. And uh, I've I don't I can't remember if I've ever seen Bret Hart in a movie. You know, on top of that, so um, like I said, I mean, and, you know, it was the sort of thing where I watched the trailer and I'm like, you know, thinking, you know, trailer is going to show you know a couple little flashbang whatever. And it was some pretty Pretty gritty, raw action. I will see, and I say, "Golly, heck yeah!" Oh, so, yeah. oh yes. But, and again, with our wraparound, it's going to be it's going to be something else. It's just it's going to be bringing it to the table. That's for sure. <laughs> it sounds like you got you know. some good writers on staff too. Oh yes, uh, 
the vet, yes. Uh, you know, Barry, you know, Barry J. Gillis, myself, I've got some writing in there as well. And uh, I have done the screenplay. That's all credited to Barry. But uh, it's just, I tell you, man, we, we, work, we work one hell of a team together. And I'll tell you, at the end of the day, we're putting out this movie, and it's going to be something else to see, Chris. You bet. Well, tell us about the associate producer um, Yes. Aspect. So what they do, yeah, so what they do is they go to talesfromthedeadzone.com, the actual official website. Right. And they go there and they check out, uh, they can actually get into our movies. Uh, they could have got into Tales from the Dead Zone. We've got other movies coming up. Uh, just to let you know, we got Horror by Midnight coming up as well. So they can oh, well, be involved okay. in our next uh, production. You know, we have other productions, uh, you know, down the road as well. So that's how they get involved in our movie. Uh, there's associate produ producer credit. There's, uh, there's co-producer credit. There's, uh, there's executive pr uh, producer credit. And they can actually act in our film. So we actually have two, uh, two, uh, two American actors uh, right here in Canada right now, right in Edmonton, actually, Edmonton, Alberta, and they were part of that, and they're, they're going to be working in our movie. So it oh, can be done. It can be done. It's a genius idea. I mean, you know, that's, that's the first time I've ever heard anyone ever doing that, and it sure. looks like it's working out great, you know, and it might be like a, a blueprint for other people that want to make a film and, you know, need some operating capital, and there you go. You, you bet. Know? You betcha. Heck yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. So and you, you guys are kind of you're blowing it's, it out of park in two different directions there. Well, thank Good you, Chris. Job. We look at, you know, we look at it this way, too. It's a win-win situation. You know, they invest in our movies. They get in our movies, you know, and you never know where it goes from there. You know, so it's a win-win situation. It really, right. truly is. Well, I, I tell you what, it's, um, like I said, I mean, Corey Feldman's had so many cult classics come out, you know, and... I mean, it's one of these things where, you know, you've got like that that tidal wave of fans behind him, mm. and then you guys come out with something like this that could probably stand on its own. Wow, that's a good combination. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you with, with you know, again, we're 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 happy that of course Mr., you know Corey Feldman's in our movie, but you've got the you know Bret Hart, the hitman, and uh, he's just one hell of an actor. He's uh, he brings it to the table, Chris, and it was it was an honor and a pleasure to work with uh, with Brett right on set. Um, I'll never experience, I'll never 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 uh, forget the experience working with Brett. Uh, man, he's uh, he's got it, man. And when you see him in action, you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, he, he seems like a really it. intense guy. Is he like that in person? Oh, Brett Brett's a Brett's a great guy. Great, you know, all rounded. You know, he's very professional. Um, but when he when he's ready to rumble, boy, he goes. I tell you, he's uh, that's why he's the hitman, and he's uh, he's just that's how good he is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I remember he was a he was a really intense character in the uh, WWF, and uh, that's where yeah. I remember him from most. And just just I mean, just sharp as like high carbon steel, you know. And you know, he, he kind of like. You can't help but kind of wonder if some of his like actual personality like bleeds into the character, you know, and if he's like that edgy in real life. So I mean, you know, it's got a gravitas, so to speak, you know. But um, and what's it like working with uh, Corey? Corey Phil? Well, Corey again is in our movie. You know, I, uh, I I worked with you know with Brett right on set. So you know, Corey right. is actually right in our, of course, in the part of the you know product. You know, he's right in the you know our production in the movie itself. But I actually worked with Brett the Hitman Hart. Yes. Yeah. With Brett himself. Right on set. Yes. I gotcha. So, yeah. Well, I tell you, that's something else. I mean, uh, what were some of the hurdles you guys had to overcome, like getting everything done? Oh, man. You know, it's just, you know, Chris, like I said, we were two weeks away from the actual wraparound. Uh, it's been just, you know, when you're making a movie, I'll tell you right now, Chris. Anything and everything can happen when you're when you're filming. And again, we've right. got two weeks to shy away. To, you know, we're getting so close now to get it completed that you know we, we just say every day, you know, I'm hoping everything works out. You know, it, you just never know what can, what can what's going to be thrown at you. And you know what? You got to be ready. To, you got to be prepared to uh, to deal with it because I'll tell you, at the end of the day, we got to get that movie done, and we are going to get it done. You know. Well, that's the thing. Just just having the the will to soldier on through. And uh, that that by itself that can be that can be difficult to muster sometime. And you know I know what it's like as an artist to like run into like you know you know walls and just hit a wall and just go wow how am I ever getting over this and get this project finished? And I I can imagine with a movie how many opportunities for failure there there is. 
between the start and the finish. So, well, yeah, know. it's just you know what it, it's it's almost like you know you it's almost like you know you're riding the horse and you keep falling off the horse. Damn it, you're gonna you know you're gonna get on that horse and you're gonna ride that horse right until you know you won. You know, and it's when you're making a movie, it's just you know it's magic, but it's you know it. it there's just so much that can go wrong, but then at the end of the day, when your film is completed, you say to your, you know, you just look around and you say, "We got it done, man. It, this is done. This is this is a wrap." And it's just, wow. After you know, you, you just, you know what, Chris, you got to keep up. Myself personally, when you're making a movie, you got to you got to keep a po positive, you know, you got to say to yourself, "Okay, yeah, this can happen, that can happen," but you know what? You still got to be looking. You got to be focused on. Okay, this is what we got to get done, and this is how we got to get it done. And right. damn it, nothing's going to stop us to to complete this. And well, apparently nothing has stopped you. I tell you. No. I mean, well, well, you know, well, look at look at we're living through COVID right now. You know, know the worst possible time to be doing any kind of project. Unbelievable, you know. And and we're going to get it. We're going to get it done. We are going to get it done. Well, you, you look know? at look at you know Dune. The new remake of Dune has been postponed till next year. That's right. Because of COVID, you know, That's it hasn't slowed you guys down much. That's so, right. Well, I like said, we're still riding that horse and we're not, <laughs> keep going. You know, it reminds me of a story I heard. You remember Conan the Barbarian with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes. yes. Well, there's a scene where he uh, falls down some stairs okay. being chased by some animals. And in the scene, Arnold Schwarzenegger really did get injured. And the director told him, said, Arnold, Blood, pains, temporary movies are forever, mm -hmm. and dust himself off when he had made the movie. That's you right. Know? That's right. I mean, and that's the thing. Once you get it down, that's that's the immortality. You know, <laughs> absolutely. That's right, and that's what keep you know what that's the drive, and that's what keeps the guy going. You just nothing's going to stop you. You're going to get it done. You know. Heck yeah. And, well, you you got a, a a couple few projects under your belt, right? I was I was reading up on you and. Uh, <clears throat> You've got some IMAX stuff coming out. Yeah, there's an asteroid asteroid hunters with uh, with Daisy Ridley. She's the narrator. Uh, that's all thanks to my uh, my agent out of Calgary, Wendy Lumby, Faces of Wendy. Uh, yeah, I'm doing some extra in there, so I can't wait to go watch that film. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, I got some. I've done some TV series and stuff in Heartland, right here in Canada, uh, okay. right in Calgary, filmed in Calgary. Yeah, it's been it's been great. It's been great. But this is going to be. This Tales from the Dead Zone, Chris. This is going to be the one where they're going to see see me in uh, in action because I'm actually, you know, I'm I'm one of the you know main actors, and it's going to be, you know, it's going to be fantastic. Absolutely. Well, what's some, what's some prep work you've had to do to get into the roles? Well, I'll tell you when uh, you know when I when I get the script and uh, I'm I'm looking at uh, you know my characters and when I do LJ, LJ of course is a is a wrestling manager. Uh, LJ's managed uh, like uh, you know for you know WWE superstars like Roddy Roddy Piper, um, I yeah. Kevin Nash, uh, Big Pump a Pump. Uh, you know it's uh, Carlito. You know it's it's just been one hell of a ride with LJ. Um, you know I, LJ's been down in the states a few times in Vegas for CAC Cauliflower Alley, and okay. down in Waterloo, Iowa. It's just been it's just been great. You know worked with the Hearts. You know, and Stampede Wrestling, and it's just right. been it's been one hell of a ride, man. Oh, oh yeah. man, I tell you, how LJ Piper in the movie. was always my favorite. Oh, I mean, yeah. I tell you, he was, uh, once again, somebody that's completely a heel that everybody loved so much that they had to go ahead and make him a good guy, you know? Oh, yeah. And I, I really feel bad about his passing. Man, yeah. it just broke my heart, you know? We lost a true legend. We lost yeah, a true legend. And, and he had a really good podcast and was seemed like he was doing well, and, oh, man, it's just, you yeah. know? Yeah, he was taken away too early from us. He truly well, was. and it shows you, you know, I mean, look at how much he crammed into a life, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he didn't die you wondering. <laughs> you bet, you bet. You know, yeah. I mean, hey, you could be able to say the same thing. Absolutely, you know, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, you, you know, and one thing I'll never forget about, uh, you know, Mr. Piper is, you know, Rod, he, uh I asked him a few things when I had the opportunity not only just to meet him but work with him uh, just out of Calgary and uh I said can you give me any any uh any uh, uh you know insight or any any knowledge or anything to 
to, you know, to be successful. He said, brother, he said, brother Len, he says, we call each other brother in the business. He right. says, you never give up. You know, you'll come to a wall. I don't care what you do. That wall, you're going to somehow you're going to get around that wall. You're going to climb that wall. You're going to fall off that wall. He says, I don't care whatever it takes. You're going to get around that wall. And that wall, of course, is your stopping you from getting to the other side to become successful, whatever that's going to be, you know. And I'll tell you, I, I, I never forget what he told me, Chris. And I just keep going, man. I keep going. And if I, I come to that wall, that obstacle, whatever it is in life, you say, you look at it and you go, I'm going to get through this, man. It's going to happen because at the end of the day, we make it happen. You got all your supporters around you, but you're the one that makes it happen. That's exactly right. And you know, the guys that, that see walls and they go, okay, well, those are the boundaries. Exactly. That's the boundaries. That's, right. That's where I stop. That's they'll right. Be feral, they'll be feral barnyard animals, you know. That's guys right. like us, we're going to go over the wall one way or the other, under it, and they're going to be feral. And those are the ones that are going to have the story to tell at the end. Definitely. Amen and, to that. Oh, yes. yes. One of my you favorite bet. creatures, feral hog here. <laughs> well, there's my – okay, there we go. All right. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. But, you know, um, that's really impressive. I, I didn't know you had so much to do with wrestling. I mean, that's well, amazing. That's where, that's, that's where it started with me, with the, uh, you know, with the uh, LJ character. You know, he uh, was developed, you know, with the pro wrestling. And uh, I'll tell you, it's just been one hell of a ride for LJ. Uh, you know, and now he's in this movie with, uh, with Brett, the Hitman Hart, and Corey Feldman. We never know. We never know what's going to happen next. You know. Without. Well, I've, I've always enjoyed the whole wrestling scene. I always thought it was a really good thing. And I was an amateur wrestler for a while myself, and I enjoyed. It. I wasn't any good at it, but it was fun. You know, just for fun. It wasn't anything serious. Sure. And um, a buddy of mine, my tag team partner, has gone on to like be pro and whatnot. And uh, that that's been a good thing. But I tell you, the the everything that goes into it, if you could capture some of that. That, that just the, um, the 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 energy of it, and put it to a film that would be something, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, like, you know, we just never know. Like you know, we never know what's going to happen with this tales in the dead zone. But I tell you, once we get it out there and the world sees it, uh, you know, we, who knows where where this where this uh, where this film is going to go? It's just it's just one of those. Okay, we're just gonna be uh, waiting to see what happens, and that's gonna be the that's gonna be very exciting just to see. I remember when they released uh, Bret Hart and Corey Feldman, and uh, they were they were gonna be appearing in the same movie, and that just went all over the world, uh, Chris. It just went oh, all yeah. the, all the websites and Yahoo News and you name it, it was there. It was absolutely sure got my attention. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. Though that two combination is absolutely. Something else. Something else. Well, Never been yeah. done, and we got it. We got it in our movie, Tales in the Dead Zone. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, do you have any advice for anybody that's um, that's out there listening right now that might be sort of staring at a wall? That they, they can't get over it, or they think that wall is as far as their world goes? Well, my advice for anything that you're – you have your passion, you have your heart, you, you know, you, you want to do it. That's what you want to do. Uh, you just got to keep going. You know, I was just going to say earlier, the easiest thing to do, Chris, is to quit, man. Just say, I can't do this anymore. I'm not going to do this because I'm not getting to where I want to get to. The hardest part to get to where you want to get to is keep going. Keep going, keep going. That's the hardest part, but that's the most rewarding part. That's the challenge of it all. It's keep going and going because eventually you're going to get there. You're going to get there. And anybody that has a passion or a dream, you just got to focus on, I don't care whatever it takes, I'm going to get there. But as I said, the easiest thing is just to give up and say, I'm not doing this. I quit. I can't, I can't handle this anymore. But you keep on going, you're going to get there. So my advice to anybody that wants to get onto the, that other side, hey man, it's not easy, but that's what gives it the that's what gives it more of the juice, more of the drive. It just it just you're gonna get all these obstacles, and that's why. And I go back to Roddy Piper, you know, he says that wall, you know. But once you get past that wall, 
man, it's going to be lovely. It's going to be fantastic. But just keep in your mindset. And another thing is, visualize what you where you're going to be. Visualize, see it. Important you know, have a plan. You're going to be there. God damn it, I'm going to do it. You know. And at the end of the day, at you were the one that makes it happen. We're going to get to that other side. We're going to get to that successful point of our life where it's happened. So my advice, don't give up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And just strive for your, just strive for it. And work as, as, as hard as you can because it will happen. It will happen. That's my advice. And my advice to all you kids at home, listen right now. Hear what the man says. And if you start to forget, watch it again. Parents, bookmark, bookmark this video, all right? This man knows what he's talking about. He's a success story. Hey, there you go. I tell you what, Chief, it's, it's, it's so good to hear from you. And we really appreciate your time today, 100%. You betcha, Chris. And thank you for, for uh, having me on your show. And uh, keep safe and all the best to everybody out there. And yeah. uh, can't wait to get this movie done. And so Once the world again, can folks, see. Tales from the Dead Zone. You it's betcha. coming up soon. Keep on eye.